Hi guys, it's Miss Hensdale, and I am going to talk to you about how to open your euphonium and the different parts of the euphonium. So first, you want to make sure that you're on the ground. Your instrument is way too big to try and open it on a table or on a chair, and it can't fall off the ground, okay? So I know your parents probably wouldn't be happy if they were already having to pay for repairs for your brand new instrument. So you want to put it on the ground. Most of you guys have a Yamaha instrument. You should be able to see the label somewhere on your instrument, whether it's a black case or a silver case. You're looking for the word Yamaha, okay? If it's the silver case, it's gonna be probably be right here. And the Yamaha should be able to be read right side up, not upside down. Now, also notice to make sure you're opening the correct way that the top part of your case is a little bit smaller than the bottom part of your case. So you want the smaller side of your case facing up. Okay, so before we open it, I want us to sing like angels because you guys have worked so hard to get to this moment, okay? We've done Rhythm Tree, we've done our musical alphabet, we've learned how to get the beat, we've learned how to read bass clap, like we've done a lot in the past week or so. And so now is the moment when you get to open your case for the first time, okay? So what you're gonna do is when we unlatch it, I'm gonna count to three, we're gonna open it and we're gonna sing like angels. So you're gonna go, ah. So, here we go. Unlatch with me. And now I'm gonna count to three. One, two, three. Ah. Okay, so now you have your beautiful euphonia, which is my favorite instrument because it's alive. But don't tell anybody. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick it up by the big pipes. Never touch the little pipes here in the center because those are not meant to be weight bearing and they can break and they have before as I've been teaching. So you're gonna take it by the big pipe here and then there's a little dent for your left hand to go right there in your case. Now, sorry, pause, wait. Watch the video the first time and just let me talk you through it and then go back and rewatch the video the second time and do it with me, okay? So first time, watch, second time, do. So right hand, big pipe, left hand, big pipe. You're gonna pull it up and gently place it on the ground. Okay, so here we go with the different parts of your euphonium, okay? So right here, you've got this small little pipe that leads away where your mouthpiece is going to go, okay? So you, this is called the lead pipe. Don't put your mouthpiece in yet. I'll tell you how to do that later. So this is called the lead pipe, okay? Now, this fun little thing right here is called the bell. This is where the sound comes out of your euphonium, okay? So the lead pipe leads to your mouthpiece. The bell is where the sound comes out of your instrument. And then you have your valves, okay? So then you've got first valve here, second valve, third valve, and fourth valve. So it goes from closest to you to farthest away. So you've got one, two, three, and four. And you always wanna hold those valves with a C-shaped hand, a round shape. You never wanna drop your elbow and bring that down. So you've got hands up here on top of your valves. So lead pipe, bell, one, two, three, four valves, okay? And then this front part here, you've got tuning slides, okay? This biggest one on the bottom, that's gonna be your main tuning slide. And so you can pull it, and you want it to be open at least a quarter of an inch on like, woo, on all of them. And so before you get your instrument out to play, every time, you kinda of wanna pull these guys out. He needs some grease on some of these, and so that's why not all of them are quite pulling. We'll talk about maintenance later. So, pull them all out about a quarter of an inch, and then when you're done, you wanna push them back in, okay? So tuning slides, main tuning slide. So, so far, lead pipe, bell, valves, tuning slides, and main tuning slide. The last thing that we're gonna talk about is your water key, okay, which is this thing right here, okay? Now if you're like, water key? Yes, water key. Basically, what happens is, as you play your instrument, condensation collects on the inside of the instrument. Now, you probably remember that word from like your fifth grade science class, and so if you don't remember what condensation is, 
is it's when something cold gets around something hot, okay? And so think about this, if you ever put like a cup with ice in it and then it gets water around the outside, that's condensation because the cup is cold, the air around it is warm, okay? And then, or if you put something in the microwave that's cold, you've left the lid on top and then it gets water on it whenever you pull it out of the microwave, it's because something cold got in touch with something hot and created condensation. Well, right now, you can probably feel that your instrument is cold to the touch. But obviously your body temperature is around 98 degrees. So you're putting really warm air inside of a cold instrument. And so condensation, the more warm air that you put inside your instrument, creates more water. And so this gets rid of the water that is created inside your instrument, okay? So in review, you've got lead pipe, bell, valves, first valve, second valve, third valve, fourth valve, and then tuning slides, main tuning slide, and water key. Okay, and that's the parts of your euphonium. So now, as I put my euphonium back into its case, I'm gonna put the valves face up, I'm gonna take my big pipes, not my little pipes, I don't wanna break those, big pipes, and I'm gonna set it down face up inside my instrument. And that is how you open your case and the different parts of your euphonium.